Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're continuing our look on some potential rotation proof decks. Um, this, these are decks that have cards that will all, will all survive rotation. Um, so they're not necessarily intended to be. This is a tier one deck post rotation. Um, it's just seeing what are some viable strategies based on what we know is in the card pool. Obviously, the false set will shake things up, uh, same as we saw with Ravnica and War of the Spark. Um, but what we really want to see is um, what kind of themes or cards will stick around and what new card, what like underused cards might have their time to shine. Um, so we've done about six decks so far. Um, this in here is a mono red deck. Red decks will never die, they will only evolve. Um, but it is around the Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Um, so an it, a iteration of this already exists. Uh, we lose a couple of the one drops um, in terms of uh, Fanatical Firebrand, which is really good for the deck. And like um, like Shock, stuff like that, or um, Lightning Strike. Uh, but we still have a good core of the deck. So. Calvocate a Calamity wants you to attack with creatures with one power. Whenever you do, you get to deal one damage to target creature or planeswalker that we're attacking. So what we have is a bunch of creatures with one power. Um, we have Grim Initiate, it's a 1-1 one, one with first strike, uh, that when it dies we get another 1-1. One, one. So this is a way to keep bodies around. Scorch Spitter deals a damage when it attacks and then would deal another damage or cavalcade, and then if it gets through, it's another damage. So it's three damage from a one mana threat. Tin Street Dodger has uh, pseudo evasion and haste. Shock is shock. Calamity, as I mentioned. Chandra Spitfire is kind of the glass cannon engine of this deck. Every Calamity trigger that you have that goes on the stack before uh, Spitfire deals damage, uh, pumps it by three power. So you can pretty much one-shot an opponent at times. Uh, War Boss makes an endless stream of 1-1s. One uh, Light Up Stage is card advantage. Screw the Critics of 1 mana threat a lot of times in our deck. Chandra makes a bunch of 1-1s. One and then 1 Frenzy in the main, opting for 20 lands in this build. Sideboard, um, we do play a little bit larger, so I do have a Mountain at times if needed. We have Fry versus Blue-White matchups where we need it. Lava Coil versus Creature decks. Tybalt versus life gain decks, Chandra and Experimental Frenzy with the Mountain when we go up to the four mana um, is for more of like the grindy matchups where we need to play a longer game. If our deck has like Cryo Carnarium or a bunch of board wipes or like a life gain deck, this is our card advantage engine. So I'm opting for a split with the additional uh, Frenzy in the main. So I'm going to play some ranked matches with this, see how it goes. We are at Platinum 2 currently. So if you are enjoying the content and want to look to support the channel, uh, there's many free ways to do so. Um, there is the affiliate link for TCG Player in the video description down below. If you follow through that link, any cards you purchase that you're planning on doing anyways help support the channel, as well as if you can subscribe to the channel itself. It's another great way to help out. Um, no early one drop. But we have Chandra and Light Up the Stage to help us go there. Let's try this out. So far, the Simic Ramp decks felt probably the best. Demir was surprisingly effective. Uh, we took down both Mono Red and Esper uh, Hero. But the Flash deck, even with. Or sorry, the. Um, Simic ramp deck, even without uh, main board like sweepers of any kind, we were able to beat Scape Shift. Okay, so probably Elementals is my guess. Ooh, Cavalcade. That is a curve. So if they just play like a dork this turn, we have the shock set up anyways for. Ooh, Grixis. No, my Chandra. Don't take my Chandra. He's gonna take my Chandra. Oh, we would have so won that game. Just 
She's going to do this now for some card advantage. Oh, that was awful. So this works out okay, even if they have like a Tyrant Scorn or something, it leaves a body behind. See which variation of this build it is. My prowess is Own your prowess. Um, probably just gonna poke the nurse at this turn. Ah, uh, wow, too many lands. So much commotion. Uh, it's a destroy effect, so it's fine. Alright, we'll see if we really need that 21st land. Probably, nonetheless. I gotta remember, I don't think I... Put in my uh, stained glass Narset code. Ah, and they have ritual. So here I'm going to force them to either use the ritual, I'm not going to play out Tin Street here. I'm going to just hold back, I want them to really have to pay. See, if I was them, I would have done it on the Grim Initiate, so this Ritualist would have left no bodies behind. They have the mana for Nickel. This list will also likely... Okay, so they have the Sweeper here. They can deal a damage and exile this. Oops. No, I just want to attack. I think we're dead anyways. Wow, annoying. I know, Chandra. <laughs> Take it down to two. Spitfire dies to anything in this deck. So I'll probably cut those. We really just want stuff with like haste or card advantage. They could down tick this. <laughs> just want to see what we draw next turn. We should be able to outrace this deck. Yeah, we're dead. When you draw your one drop after like nine lands have come by, uh, so this is a frenzy matchup. The fries are relevant, and they're likely going to play some sort of life gain, so Tybalt's probably good. Uh, get rid of the Spitfires. Those aren't that good. Chandra's really good if it sticks. Skewer's probably fairly limited. I want bodies here. Um, 
probably just a Spitfire. This at least has hastes, so they can't interact with it. At sorcery speed, or they have to interact with it at instant speed. Try it like that. Just play a little bit bigger. Grixis is a, a deck with a lot of removal, but should in theory have a painful mana base. Playing first is where we want to be. Keep this. No Cavalcade, but if we have a Frenzy and we also have Tybalt. Opponent's thinking about it. Opponent's still thinking about it. Really just want the like running lions at this point. I want to try to get down Frenzy before they can Thought Erasure it. They always have Thought Erasure. Always, without fail. Frenzy's probably the pick here. So, would have had the nice curve there. Cavalcade would be nice, light up the stage, Chandra, either Chandra really. We're just not putting enough pressure on our opponent yet. We do have clean answers for Nico Bolas. Both 4 mana uh, creature flip one and 5 mana walker. We can answer a Narset. That's great. They didn't bring in Negate. So this makes now even these dorks a lot more effective. Just pass. Pass turn. Well, that sucks. Their exile, not die. They have the land. Doing that for mana efficiency. We can get the Chandra down, it'll be good. They also can't Thought Erasure the Chandra. And we have an answer for the Nico Bolas. If they play it, we have two in the form of both fries. And we have Big Chandra as a follow-up play after. Let's take him down to seven. But 
Devil there is not the worst. We do have Fire Artisan. Damn it! Okay, so they have Nico Bolas. Or they have another Bedevil. Ay, ay, ay. Grixis is play all the good cards. They usually die be due to their own self destruction. That suggests to me they have a God Eternals. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Get rid of the mountain. My schemes are never ending. Just pass the turn here. Just go to the face here. We're gonna have to just try racing this game. There are five life. They hit their own God Eternals. Or right, their own Nicobolas here. Jeez. Too many lands. All right, let's run it back. I don't think like risk factor makes much of a difference anymore. They had the Narset anyways. Okay, let's try this. Let me play against some derpy creature deck. Or a ramp deck. Oh, come on, opponent. Opponents have been slow today. The nice thing is playing mono red is our Grixis matchup took like 10 minutes. All right, well. I'm gonna see if they take the trade. They likely won't. And then I'm gonna shock the elf. Keeps him off. Uh, a better turn three play. Still not a hundred percent sure. Okay, so it's gruel. Could be elementals. We have an answer for Risen Reef if that's their play this turn. If we draw land, we can get Frenzy going. Uh, probably elementals. They're likely going to block here. Cool. Just take them off mana, five mana is when they hit Nisa, and that's when it gets bad. Chandra's so good. It's like a harder to deal with war boss. 
Okay, well... What you got, opponent? Even if they block the board, Chandra's minus gets back shock and hits them. All right. So what do we know our opponent doing? They are. Playing gruel things. Hmm. Get rid of Initiate. Spitfire should probably have some legs. We have the Frenzy. We have Shock. Maybe just go down a couple skewers. Play bigger. Still play aggressive. We only brought in one extra four drop. The Lava Coils are lower on the curve. Maybe... Well, if they have Phoenix, it blocks pretty well, so maybe we just go down one like that. Run that back. I, I still don't know if this is Elementals or just like a Gruel-based ramp deck. So we'll have to see what they're going with. They are at Platinum, so... Shouldn't necessarily just be pure jank. I'm not sure what's up with the sound on this game. And the settings. Weird, it goes quiet during uh, sideboarding. Or it might have just lost server connectivity. Don't think you guys and gals want to hear me acapella with no background music. So opponents on the play, we do need to be mindful of interacting with their early ramp. Um, I could probably keep that. The spitter can turn on the skewer. And then the spitter Spitfire combination. Ooh, and war bus. Okay, yeah, so it is teamer. That was actually a pretty good draw for us. Because we're going to skewer this anyways. Just want to keep him off mana. Next turn is probably the Spitfire turn. Brontodon is a little annoying. Double Brontodon. Okay. This will die, but it basically does 4 extra damage with the Spitfire. So they block, block. We can start giving Tin Street uh, unblockable. If we drop Lava Coil, it can be good. Even just like another Shock.
what do you got? Just reveal. Why are you playing slow? At the minimum now, we have him on a four turn clock. That speeds things up. So hit him for two. I'm just gonna pass the turn. Don't necessarily need the fifth line this turn. So we can see what they come out with. Ah, crisis. Lava coil one time. Okay, second war boss. We're not going to win the long game. If they want to trade the Hydroid Crisis, they can. But that keeps it off the battlefields. Just pass turn. Hopefully they don't start chaining crisis together. It's funny because that's actually the right call. Uh, why are we drawing so many lands? Why so many lands? Frenzy Cavalcade forces them to sack one of these before attack triggers go on the stack. No blocks. Chandra would be good, they can't actually kill it. So I do think we probably want the Frenzies in this matchup. Okay. Now we're probably dead. Okay, so frenzies are a, ne a needed item. Tybalt's also needed. Cut down two Chandras. Or. Cut down a couple war boss. They're not going to be as good. Need the 21st, uh, I could probably make do without the 21st land. Might just want to remove this land from the sideboard. Two cards to cut. Like the one drops. It's probably just the war boss. The Chandra's better than the war boss. Doesn't get hit by 
like lava coil, which they have in. Yeah, we just run it back. In that game, like Warboss really didn't do much. They made two twos, but uh Okay, we'll keep gonna get rid of skewer. No one drop was kind of annoying. We could have been applying pressure. Okay, we could Chandra next turn or Tybalt. Probably go Chandra here. Next turn, depending what we need to do, we have the option to light up the stage, lava coil, Tybalt, light up the stage. Okay, and they have the elf. Let's start off with lighting up the stage. That's perfect. Just play like that. It's important to get this off the field. It's gonna give them a lot of card advantage. On the off chance they're playing negate or Aether Gust, I want to be able to answer that. It also makes if they have an Omnath less effective. It's probably a Hydroid Crisis. No? You're gonna attack with the elf. Opponent changed their mind, seeing what they're up to. Cavalier of Thorns. Alright, quite a few good cards they got. So they did have the negate, so it's right for us to play around it. Um, well, it having reach is a little annoying. So we can exile it by hitting it shock. Shock and that, but then let's play another spell. Say hi to my fiery friends. Probably want to keep Chandra alive another turn. So they keep the elf alive. Uh, 
I will just pass turn here. So here, I think we need to keep it alive another turn. This also makes Spitfire more impactful. Mind you, they might have an answer for it. All right, so what we need to do here I think we can do everything we need here. If they have a negate, we get blown out. Play Tybalt out. This one? Uh, they had it. My friend is So this is coming after Tybalt. That's coming after Chandra. Thing is, I think I need the Chandra. Oh, I can't minus Chandra anyways, so I think we block here then. They're kind of dropping all the elementals. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Get rid of the Spitfire is my guess. Yeah, we're dead here. All right, this deck wasn't so hot. I uh, don't know if we just ran into some bad matchups, but kind of got outclassed. And those are some pretty consistent, like not tier 1 meta decks, but like strong decks to begin with. But uh, let me know what you think, if I misplayed at all, any other lines you would have taken differently. I uh, hope you enjoy, and if you can, make sure to hit that subscribe. Have a great one.